Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And so in this video, we will be talking about what is currently going on across the North Atlantic Basin in terms of the tropical waves that are making their way across the region, a cold front, as well as the possibility for us to see development in the very near future. And then we'll also be talking about the Eastern Pacific because there is a tropical depression there that is expected to become a hurricane and make landfall in Mexico. And so before I into details please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update on the tropics and to share support for the channel you can leave a like on this video okay and so let's go ahead and kick start things of of course with the inferred satellite view of the region and so here we are seeing this cold front that is uh, well offshore of the east coast of the u.s but it is extended as far as into central america and so along the boundary there is quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity taking place and so uh, areas of the northwestern Caribbean, the Bahamas are currently being impacted by the system and even up in Canada. And then there are a few tropical waves that are making their way across the region. One is uh, approaching the Lesser Antilles. So where we see that shower and thunderstorm activity that is associated with the tropical wave that is approaching the islands. And so if that, uh, if it maintains all that activity, then while it is going to be passing, it is likely to bring some increased rainfall to some areas. And so looking to the northeast of that system, there we have some activity and that is associated with yet another tropical wave that is located within the area, but headed further east near the coast of Africa here, uh, we're seeing that we have all of this shower and thunderstorm activity uh, associated with another tropical wave that is to the southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. And so that is what is going on out there right now, guys. And uh, none of these are marked as a disturbance to be watched. But in terms of the cold front, uh, it should continue to uh, influence the weather across the the areas being impacted right now with that heavy rainfall, those gusty winds, as well as those cool temperatures. And even areas as far as Jamaica could feel impacts from the outer periphery of the system because even here, last evening, there was some rainfall and thunderstorm activity taking place in the western side of the country. And so guys, now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this water vapor loop right here. And we're seeing that behind that cold front, we have all of that dry air. So there is cool dry air that is behind that cold front as it is going to be uh, making its way out and eventually dissipating. And we also see quite a bit of dry air across sections of the Caribbean. But where we have those greens, that is where uh, we have all that moisture, all that shower and thunderstorm activity taking place as we see that clearly along that cold front as well as the tropical waves that are located out in the main development region. And so guys, uh, is there a chance that we could see tropical cyclone development in the very near future? The GFS model has been consistent about that, but there aren't really any other models that are really consistent or hopping on to that happening. But let's go ahead and take a look at the GFS run. And so this is a map of the isobars. Of course, the isobars are the black lines and their lines of equal pressure. And when we see them in a circular manner with the pressure being at least 10, 30 millibars, uh, then we're looking at a low pressure system. And the lower the pressure is, the stronger the system. And so looking at GFS now, so uh, this is the model as we're going to be heading into Tuesday going to Wednesday of next week there we have that low pressure area forming in the Caribbean and just uh, moving erratic around the region and eventually uh, making its way out into the Atlantic but not really developing into something significant and so this is quite interesting as I said GFS has been consistent about something uh, developing within the area so we have to be on the lookout for that next week but of course development is all going to be dependent on the favorability of the environment in terms of the wind shear, is there enough moisture? But one thing that we know is already there is the very warm sea surface temperatures that would be the fuel for the system. But uh, those other conditions have to be conducive to allow for any sorts of development to take place. And then in terms of the Euro, Euro isn't really showing much going to Saturday and also Sunday. We're not really seeing much happening across the region. And then uh, as we eventually head to the middle part of next Next week, we're definitely not seeing where uh, 
tropical cyclone activity is going to be taking place in the Caribbean here. So Euro is not expecting that that will happen. So only time will really tell what the eventual outcome is going to be across the region, guys. So uh, we definitely have to be on the lookout for that because this, as I said in my previous videos, this is the time of year uh, when tropical storms are likely to form from the South Caribbean and then make their way up to the north. And so now let's go ahead and hop over into the Eastern Pacific Basin. And this beautiful thing we're looking at here is a new tropical depression that is in the region. And it is affecting portions of the uh, Pacific coast of Mexico. So uh, it is now tropical depression 19 and it is expected to strengthen, of course, and possibly become a tropical storm as you're going to be headed into later today. And then uh, it will probably become a hurricane as we're going to be heading into tomorrow evening so this is going to be developing quite nicely it's going to be remaining over very warm ocean waters and right now it's not looking the best it's not very organized but of course uh in that conducive environment it is going to be looking a lot better as time goes by but where exactly is going to be feeling impacts from the system so let's go ahead and take a look at the cone forecast here and so we're seeing that uh it is expected to become a tropical storm as i said and then a hurricane Hurricane maybe by late Friday going into very early Saturday and the National Hurricane Center is expecting that the system will peak as a category 2 hurricane with winds of 105 miles per hour. Uh, but uh, there is that possibility that it can make landfall stronger than currently anticipated. And so as of right now, there are no watches and warnings in place. But of course, that sort of seems inevitable as we're going to be heading into the next several days. And also, the next name to be used for the Eastern Pacific is Roslyn. So uh, that seems to be the name that this uh, depression is going to be occurring as it approaches tropical storm status in the Eastern Pacific. And so as we're seen here on the cone forecast once the system makes landfall it is going to be weakening and uh, it is also expected to accelerate to the northeast quite quickly once it makes that curve into Mexico so hopefully it won't be around for too long and hopefully impacts won't be too significant but if you're in the path of this which would include Jalisco Nairit as well as surrounding areas please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe because uh, a category 2 hurricane making landfall is quite dangerous uh, that is coming with a lot of strong winds uh, as well as that heavy rainfall and the main concern is with the water be it from the surge or the heavy rainfall that is expected because majority of the fatalities in any tropical cyclone is usually from the water so guys if you're to be impacted by this brewing hurricane Please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe and do not take any unnecessary risks because it is going to be bringing dangerous conditions uh, to Mexico. And so guys, that is really it for this updated video on the tropics. And so I will be keeping you guys updated as time goes by. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.